It was never about the size of your deeds. It was always about the sincerity of them. And that's why Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala says, لِيَبْلُوَكُمْ أَيُّكُمْ أَحْسَنُ عَمَلًا That Allah may test you to see how good you will do with your deeds. Not أَكْثَرُ عَمَلًا Not how many deeds you will do. It was never about quantity. It was always about quality. And on the Day of Judgment, it's not your deeds that ultimately save you. It's Allah's mercy as He looks to your sincerity when you did those deeds and you sought His acceptance with them. With that being said, one of the ways in which we show our sincerity in this life is to take advantage of those simple deeds that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us that propel us to salvation. And can you really claim that you're being sincere if you don't do the most basic things that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sends you as gifts to ultimately elevate you on the day when everyone is asking for paradise? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, and then suddenly we set up the scales on the day of judgment. And no one is going to be wronged as they hold their records to be weighed. So what are some of these weighty words and simple deeds that we can put in this mizan? And we'll start with dhikr. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Karimatan, habibatani ila rahman khafifatani ala lisan, thaqilatani fil mizan. Subhanallah wa bihamdihi, subhanallah al-alim. He said, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, there are these two phrases. They are so dear to ar-Rahman, the most merciful. They're so light on the tongue, meaning they're so easy to say. And they are so heavy on the scales. And he said they are, Subhanallah wa bihamdihi, Subhanallah al-Azim. How perfect is Allah the most praiseworthy? How perfect is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the Almighty? And this dhikr, as the scholars say, it combines tasbih, which is to glorify Allah's perfection, with tahmid, which is to praise Him and to thank Him, with ta'zim, which is to affirm His greatness subhanahu wa ta'ala. So these are so heavy on the balance and so impactful. In another narration, the Prophet ﷺ said that if anyone says a hundred times in the morning and in the evening, Subhanallahi wa bihamdihi, glory be to Allah, how perfect is Allah and how praiseworthy is Allah. The Prophet ﷺ said, no one is going to show up on the day of judgment with anything more beneficial than what that person has brought except for someone who said it even more than a hundred times. And then beyond that, the Prophet ﷺ said, whoever says a hundred times, Subhanallah al-Azim wa bihamdihi, ghurisat lahu nakhlatun fil jannah. Then a tree is planted for him in paradise. How many oceans of sin could you have obliterated by just saying these statements? And how heavy could your mizan be, your scale be, if you just repeated these throughout the day? And there's a narration that Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala anhu said, I used to do tasbih 12,000 times a day. That was actually part of his wird. That was his daily regimen. Imagine how heavy the scale of Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala anhu is. Now for us, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi said, there are two qualities that no Muslim has, except they're definitely going to enter Jannah. And he said, they are so easy, but those who do them are so few. He said sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, saying subhanallah after every prayer 10 times, and saying alhamdulillah after every prayer 10 times, and saying Allahu Akbar after every prayer 10 times. Abdullah ibn Amr radiallahu anhuma, who was narrating the hadith, he said, I saw the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa counting on his fingers. And he said, if you do that, that's 150 phrases on the tongue and 1,500 deeds on the scale, on the mizan. And then he said, when you go to bed, you say SubhanAllah 33 times, Alhamdulillah 33 times, and Allahu Akbar 34 times. And he said, that will be a hundred on the tongue and 1,000 on the mizan. And he said, who amongst you commits 2,500 sins in one day? If you had those 2,500 good deeds that could wipe out those 2,500 sins, how easy is that? So the Sahaba said, Ya Rasulullah, how come so few of us do it? How do we miss that? And the Prophet ﷺ said that shaitan comes to you while you are praying and he reminds you about things that you've forgotten and he reminds you about things that are coming up. And so what happens is when you finish your prayer, you rush back to whatever you were doing and you skip the dhikr. And then shaitan comes to you when you're about to sleep and then he lulls you to sleep before you can finish saying these simple phrases of dhikr. That's 2,500 good deeds daily 
that are missed on the Mizan, that could literally be the difference maker for you on the Day of Judgment. And the Shaytan really doesn't want you to say these simple phrases because he knows the major impact this has on your scales on that day. But greater than anything that you say and what you do regularly is who you actually are, which is why the next part of the Mizan is so significant.